Uh, hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Here is Van Amsen and today we are going to tackle an interesting problem from LitCode, the uh, two sum problem. It's rated as an easy problem, but understanding the optimal solution might be quite challenging. So let's dive into it. Uh, the problem statement is as follow. Yeah, I will mark it. The problem is as follow. Given an array of integer nums and integer target, we need to return an indices of two numbers in the array that add up to target. It's granted that there will be only one solution for each input and we can't use the same element twice. So let's quickly look at examples. So for example, we have uh, target nine and uh, input array consisting of uh, 2, 7, 11, 15. And because, yeah, nums uh, 0 plus nums uh, 1 uh, equals uh, 9, so it's 2 plus 7, uh, the output should return 0, 1. So those both indices. And we have also another uh, example with uh, target 6 and array. Uh, 3, 2, 4, and we need to return indices 1 and 2. So 2 plus 4 equals 6, very easy. But we have some trick, I mean, additional. We are also asked to come up with an algorithm that runs in less than O n square time complexity. So brute force approach won't work here. Uh, so yeah, let's think of more efficient uh, solutions. So probably you fit... <laughs> Uh, was thinking about brute force, so easy one, uh, two loops, uh, uh, yeah, iterating around the array, and if uh, i not equal uh, j, so <laughs> indices are different, and they sum to uh, target outputs, both indices, so yeah, it's brute force approach, but uh, we are asked to uh, come up with something more cle clever, so you can pause for a second and think of it. Yes, we will try to use uh, hash maps. So yeah, we will solve uh, this problem in C++. And uh, here is the initial function that let's code uh, give us. And uh, yes, let's try to uh, solve a bit. So first we need to declare, uh, yeah, we need to create an unordered uh, map to store a, a previously seen numbers and their uh, indices. So we know what we have uh, seen. And because we know that uh, we have only one solution, so we know that uh, one number is here and another will be in the future and both will uh, sum to target yeah, number. So iterate through the input array, it's easy one. And then calculate the complement. So target minus current number. And then we will find the, the current number. So complement is target minus uh, nums on i, so current position. If the complement exists in the map, so yeah, we find complement. And if we find a complement, we can return both numbers because we know that we stored their indices and also then we are returning the last current uh, yeah, index. So it will provide us with solution and add current uh, number and its index to the map otherwise, so in case uh, complement, not some to target. And num maps, yeah. 
So we adding and if no solution found, uh, we just return an empty vector. So yeah, return empty vector. And we can now uh, check. Yeah, so we have here test cases, as you can see. And yeah, let's run it. Hopefully it will run. Okay, so test cases were passed and let's submit the solution and see if it's go through unseen test cases. And yes, we, we did it. <laughs> so yeah, uh, accept the solution. Uh, and it beats 58% of uh, other codes and also memory beats uh, 30 five percent so yeah quite good and there you have it uh, there this is how you solve the to solve to sum problem in c plus plus with time complexity of uh, o n which is better than o n square and yeah remember the efficient coding is about using the right data structures and algorithm for the task at hand and if you found this video helpful be sure to hit the like button and uh, subscribe for more co more coding tutorials. Uh, happy coding, uh, everyone! Yeah, and see you next time.